Welcome to another beautiful day in Singapore. What are we doing today? Today we are doing something that so many viewers recommended last time we were here in Singapore that we are super excited about this. We are at <laughs> Sungai Bilo Wetland Reserve. This is on the very outer section of Singapore, so much so that you can see Malaysia from right across the straits, river, water. Straits. There is so much wildlife here. We are expecting to see birds, maybe some crocodile, Ooh. and I am crossing my fingers for some wild otters. Or maybe not, because maybe they're mean. I don't know. We love otters. <laughs> Either way, we are super excited to be here. We are here in the morning, so hopefully everything is super active. Let's go see what we find. I'm not dumb, I'm gonna leave my stuff here. to the map there are all these observation lookout areas and I think we might be coming across our first one and I think we're gonna be able to see all the way across the strait to the other side of Malaysia which is wild we were just there I wondered what these pods would be like they've made them so they sort of blend in with nature that way they escape the attention of the natural wildlife but there's these slats some are bigger than others, that you can look out for the birds. Of course, we're chasing all the birds away because we're talking, but I'm so excited to show this to you, what they look like. It's just shaped like a giant pod. It was well-named. It's a pod. First pod experience, we did not linger to look for birds in this one because we're just getting started and want to have a little bit of distance between us and the entrance before we stop somewhere and try to find some birds. But first pod in the books. We are headed out to Eagle Point now, which I did see this online and it looks like it's a viewpoint overlooking not only the water, but over to Johor. Is that how you say it? We haven't been there. But we were just in Malaysia for three weeks. As a bonus this morning, the tide is out. So we should be able to see some birds foraging among the mud flats, which I'm very grateful for the low tide right now. It's like the best time to come here. The view here is amazing, and there are a lot of very serious bird photographers out at this first lookout. I mean, serious equipment, huge long lenses on their cameras, and they're looking at birds, not the view. The view is incredible. I mean, the birds are what we're here for, though. <laughs> One of the bird photographers was just telling us that the largest type of eagle that exists in Singapore hangs out in this reserve, and we saw it off in the distance, but it was kind of too far away for it to make sense on our little zoom camera, but we captured what we could. And we did see it flying briefly. <laughs> so it was really cool. I'm so glad he pointed it out. I don't think we would have noticed it on our own because it was off in the distance. Bill's still chatting with him. <laughs> There is a delightful breeze coming off of the water today, and we are not complaining. We do hear thunder in the distance, so we might get rained on again, like yesterday. But it's the rainy season, so we expect it. It's cool. Actually, it really was cool yesterday. That was our favorite part of the weather yesterday, the rain. Very refreshing. Any otters yet? No otters yet. Monkeys? Nope. Crocs? Maybe. some rain clouds oh it's dark 
We are near a wetland center, which we're assuming is going to be covered, and that's where we're headed. The wetland center is about to get more wet. Oh, there's the building on the left. It's just started raining, and the wind has picked up a lot. This time we're not going to huddle under an umbrella. We are close enough to shelter that that's where we're headed to wait it out. At least I think it's near here. And Bill's been picking up trash along the trail. There's all these signs, no littering, no littering. Where's the building? Entry to Wetland Center, this way. This way. Okay, I guess I'll wait. Come on. Use this to cover the camera. Did you see the owl? What? No. Stopped to try to film an owl, but I think it moved before I got out my camera. So Bill has the umbrella and I'm just running for it. <laughs> Shelter. Made it. Oh, wow. Tons of bats. <sighs> no. I keep telling myself, bats are good. Bats eat mosquitoes, they eat other insects. It's pouring out. We enjoyed a snack while trying to wait out the rain. It's still drizzling a little bit. But we have spotted some vending machines that claim that they serve a hot meal. So we're gonna go find out what that's about right now. Wow. <laughs> Even though we spent several weeks in Japan, we never used a vending machine for food while we were there. So this is a first for us. <laughs> I'm not expecting like a gourmet meal, but we brought our own snacks because we read that there was no cafe on site. Well, now there's Chef in a Box. I'm excited to try this. Maybe more excited than I should be, honestly. Look, there's a little person in there making our meal. All this cooking is going on. Wait a second, it doesn't look like what we ordered. <laughs> you imagine there's some tiny chef in there making our, our snack, our meal. <laughs> so we have been traveling with an emergency spork and I do not think we have it today. I also am not confident that there is a pair of chopsticks in this tiny little dish that we just got. I sure hope there are chopsticks in there because, let's see. Oh no. No chopsticks? Wait, come here. Collect your, oh. <laughs> A fork and a spoon? I was expecting chopsticks, but hey, cutlery! I don't think that this machine is from Singapore. It gave me a napkin. <laughs> it does feel kind of silly to test what is basically a microwave meal, but we are gonna see this through. So here goes our beef with rice and some veggies. I'm not gonna wax poetic about this meal, but the fact that I just got served a warm meal from a vending machine in the middle of a nature reserve is pretty incredible. This is not bad, it's very peppery. I wish there was more of the meat and vegetables and a little bit less of the rice, but I would say that's true of all microwave meals. This is not bad, I'm delighted. Well, as you can see, the sun is out again. The rain is gone, leaving behind some wet boardwalks. It was a great opportunity for a snack and a fun lunch. And hopefully there's some animals out now after the rain. We are entering the mangrove boardwalk. There's 27 different kinds of mangrove plants that are here, which is a huge amount to be in one mangrove in one place. That's all I got. <laughs> Well, mangroves are pretty cool and mosquito-y. 
the water level is now rising as we're into afternoon. And there's some of those, we think they're called mud skippers that we've been watching. Skip around? Skip around in the mud. They are appropriately named. <laughs> And we are done with the mangrove section. It's on to the migrating birds trail. I'm watching for eyes from a crocodile at the surface. We started today at the visitor center and we walked along the coastal trail to Eagle Point and then we ran at the end of the coastal trail sat for a while in the Woodland Center and just now we finished the mangrove boardwalk and now we are going to press on to the final trail which is the migratory bird trail. I guess instead of looking for otters and crocodiles now we're looking for birds. There was a sign back there that said watch out for crocodiles. So I guess we're still looking for crocodiles and I'm always looking for otters. He was hoping. We were changing a battery on the camera when all of a sudden Bill said what's that and points off down the road and I just picked up my camera ready to record. <sighs> I'm glad that he noticed it. I think it was a giant... Okay, yeah, so I have no idea what it was. <laughs> it was a lizard that looked like it was a dinosaur. It was so slow moving and its tail just sort of swished back and forth. It was really cool. I'm glad that Bill spotted it. I'm glad Bill spotted it. I am still looking for crocodiles, looking for their little eyes. We are about halfway around the migratory bird trail. Haven't seen too many unusual birds yet, but that's not unexpected because right now is not the prime time for them. We also haven't seen any crocodiles or otters, and at this point I'm thinking that the park rangers are punking the tourists. Do they actually exist? Have any of you <laughs> seen otters or crocodiles here? I'm looking really hard for them. Like, I'm looking for them, scanning both sides, I'm looking so closely, and nothing. Are they really here? This is a really cool viewing platform over what is a mudflat during low tide. And right now, it is high tide. There are signs up that tell us that you'll see a lot of birds during low tide because they are foraging for their food in the mudflats. So wrong time of day for us. Can't be everywhere all at once, but it's still a bit of a bummer. <laughs> we're going to our walk around and uh, keep looking for crocodiles and otters. But again, the otters are going to have to like jump in front of us to see them. You might see a monkey. Monkeys? <sighs> Maybe. a couple of crabs. We are both still tired from 44 flights of stairs yesterday, but it looks like we're gonna have to suck it up because there is a bunch of stairs to take us up on a viewpoint. And we are suckers for an aerial view, so up we go. As is usually the case, the view from up here is fantastic. And we can see some herons and some egrets just right in front of the platform. And you can see pretty far, you can see Malaysia across the streets again. Worth the climb, as it usually is. <laughs> hear a sound that we haven't heard in the rest of the park. It sounds like a barking and I'm wondering if it's an otter barking. We can't see anything, we just hear it every now and then. We're trying to capture it on audio. It was a really 
really cool. We came across a family of monkeys, one of which I might be adopting. <laughs> and they were just walking alongside us for a while. There was a baby and the baby's mom and some other adults. And it was really cool. They were not super interested in us, which is just the way we like our wild monkeys. <laughs> I, uh, you might be coming back with me to the visitor center. I don't know. You have a new friend. Or he you wants your GoPro. Oh, hello there. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> so it turns out that the monkey that was walking with us crossed the bridge like halfway and then just sat there. I think maybe it was scouting the bridge for the rest of its family because not long afterwards, the rest of the family came across the bridge. They have crossed over now and they are at some trees, but the lead one stopped and it posed halfway and everybody stopped and took photos because you can see Johor in the background and it, it, it seemed like it was posing. It was kind of wild. I loved it. That was amazing. <laughs> monkeys are now above Bill somewhere. They just hopped across the path, you know, 10 meters in the air, as monkeys will do. Well, we are done monkeying around <laughs> at the reserve. Let's see what you did there. <laughs> but we are going bananas for a meal. We're both pretty hungry. We only had a let, that little uh, microwave cafeteria snack thing. So uh, we're gonna go see if we can find a hawker center. I guess we'll just meet you over there. found a Hawker Center not too far from our MRT stop and the Hawker Center has the same name as our MRT stop. This is Woodlands Hawker Center. Let's see what's open. So I got a fried carrot cake, one that's dark and one that's not. It's a mixed version so I could try both. But I'm really confused about this because there's no actual carrots in my carrot cake and this is definitely not a dessert, which is what I'm familiar with as an American when it comes to carrot cake. So I, I just have no idea what this is. I saw a batter and eggs involved and I don't know. Let's try the light one first and then I'll just quickly try the dark and then I'll tell you about both of them. Oh, I definitely like one of those better than the other. Can you tell which one? <laughs> The dark one has this amazing soy saucy flavor, but it's a very light soy sauce. And in words that I'm familiar with, it's sort of like a honey, light teriyaki, light barbecue, light soy sauce. If you were to smush them all together and make them one, that's what it tastes like. I have no idea what this is. It's a, it's a, I don't know. It's a rice flour thing maybe? The other one has egg as its binder, so it looks more like a pancake, and so it tastes a little bit more eggy, but I far prefer the one that has more soy sauce. So Heather forgot to mention that the setting we've got here is just amazing. We've got some nice views out over uh, what looks like a little park and a street, and we've got sunlight and lots of breeze, which is, in our experience, something really unique in a hawker center. Normally they're kind of dark and hot, honestly. So this is nice. Anyway, to drink, I got the cocoa shake, which I absolutely love. I was introduced to those in Malaysia. And to eat, I got some pork rib watercress soup. The place that I ordered this from had a huge long line. I'm really hoping that the crowd is right. First, I'm just gonna try a little of the, the watercress. Okay, it's a light broth. It's very good. The watercress is not too strong in flavor. Sometimes watercress can be a bit peppery. Uh, this, this isn't that strong at all. Now for the pork. There are enormous chunks of the pork in this and I'm gonna attempt to lift one up to my mouth here. I don't know if the proper way to eat this. Any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> my meal came with a fork. Oh, yeah. 
All right, here goes. I'm just gonna gnaw off some of the meat. Mm. It's nice and tender. It's, it's kind of a neutral flavor, very similar to the rest of the soup. It's kind of feeling like comfort food. I think if I had a mother in Singapore, this might be something that she might make. We definitely enjoyed our day at the Wetland Reserve. We've got a lot more coming from Singapore. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next, See you next time. time. Bye.